Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. Uh, well, we made it into the deposition, that is, from Jane Doe as she was grilled by Clayton Eckerd's lawyer in the scam paternity scandal. And I'm going to have some breaking, shocking information for you on Patreon today. It won't be a video because I'm running late on time, although maybe I'll go live for 20 minutes and share it in the video. But we have some information that's not exactly progressive when it comes to getting this story told if you can read between the lines uh not good info out there but i'm gonna have to save that just for the patreon uh because it's not meant for the uh the world at large patreon.com slash dave neal i'll be dropping that information to you right after this video well i was mentioned in her deposition and she actually admits to using acrobat adobe which is photoshop uh it's so funny she called it adobe acrobat she didn't want to call it photoshop it's effing Photoshop. That's what that is. I mean, unless she did it in Premiere Pro or whatever, another Adobe Acrobat audition, you know, whatever. Uh, she used Photoshop. She used a... Uh, and by the way, Photoshop's expensive. I pay $55 a month for it. Um, and she used it to alter an ultrasound. I'm going to get into the deposition that we actually have now. Um, and I also, I use Photoshop every day. I mean, I use it to make thumbnails about her. That's not Jane Doe. That's Rachel Dolezal. You probably realize that. Uh, you know, I like to share fellow uh, folks that are notorious for being duped, the old dupers, as they call them. So here it is. We have a new motion for joint hearing pursuant to Rule 5A4, which this is Clayton's side. I'm going to save you some time. This is Clayton's side saying, we'd like to bring in the order of protection that Jane Doe has on Clayton, and we'd like to rule on that in a joint hearing along with the June 10th hearing, uh, which again, I plan on being at live. We're going to have live reporting from that. Uh, we'll be going live both publicly and then we'll have additional private Patreon only live streams just to make sure everyone gets all the content they want. But uh, what they need to do is ask the judge uh, from the uh, Order of Protection, Honorable John Duty. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Duty? Uh, not Dodo, but Duty. Uh, John Duty to uh, uh, relieve himself. Uh, they're asking Duty for relief here um, because her evidence was presented based on fraud. That evidence being the photoshopped images. So I could read for you all the ins and outs, but that's basically the gist of it all. Um, the circumstances now known to defendant to be false and or fraudulent. So the plaintiff uh, in this case, uh, it, uh, the plaintiff was fully aware of the true nature and circumstances underpinning her perjurious statements and when she admitted medical evidence. So, yeah, a web of lies is what they're calling it. We know all of that. Again, the information I'm going to share on Patreon is going to be frustrating, to say the least. Uh, but either way, you'll get that. Uh, you'll, you, Patreon eats first. So here's the video deposition. We don't have the video. We just have transcripts. You know, the different pages going into it. Uh, uh, the questions are asked by Woodnick, I'm assuming. The answers are from Jane Doe. Is your neurologist at Barrow? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. So redacted. You also told me you are seeing the online provider. Correct. When was the last time you saw the online provider? I haven't had a video visit with that person in maybe a year and a half or two years. What other providers have you seen? Let's ju let's just look at 24 months. I saw a doctor at Redacted. I don't recall. I saw a provider at Redacted. I think her name was Tamara, something with an L. And she, I think, was a, she may have been a nurse practitioner. I saw a doctor at Planned Parenthood in Mission Viejo, and you said... How long did you, how long was the question? How You are doing great. So what, So I guess she was stalling. He goes, you're doing great. So one of the questions I had ahead of me was, you have been to Planned Parenthood in the past 24 months. Yes. And the Planned Parenthood you have been to uh, is Planned Parenthood Mission Viejo as, uh, or whatever branch is there. Yes. When was that? That was in July of last year. July of 2023. 23, correct. You, and you had no problem expanding the HIPAA release to include Planned Parenthood Mission Viejo. No. Have you seen any other providers at Planned Parenthood in Arizona? No. Just the one visit in the summer of 2023 in the location in Mission Viejo. Yes. <clears throat> any other medical providers in the last 24 months? She continues. Uh, so anyway, what's important about this is Greg Woodnick clearly shows a masterclass here in and sort of cutting away at the bullshit so he can make sure there's no shadow of a doubt that she's got another provider he didn't ask about. He's covering all of his bases. She's not, she can't go, well, I saw, I went to Planned Parenthood in Alaska when I was on a cruise. I was in Juneau and next thing, you know, nope, not going to happen. I'm going to show you Exhibit 9. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exhibit 9 is from Scottsdale Medical Labs. 
Have you been a patient at Scottsdale Medical Laboratory or Labs? Yes. This is an ultrasound dated July 7th, 2023. Yes. Is that your name on the top and your birth date next to it? That is my name and birth date, yes. And this is the ultrasound that you received at SMIL that was presented by Bonnie Slater in the prior proceedings, correct? Yes, it was. It was. But this was actually at Planned Parenthood. What? Huh? So she says she she got it at in in Arizona at Scottsdale Medical Labs, and now she's saying it's Planned Parenthood. Okay, I'll just read it. Um, this was actually at Planned Parenthood. Okay, I want to make sure I clarify that. Let's start off with the basics. <laughs> oh boy, let's go backwards. On exhibit nine, is this your ultrasound? And then she said, yes. Did you go into a facility, a SMIL facility, because it is earmarked SMIL, uh, to get this? She said, I did not. Where did you get this ultrasound? Planned Parenthood and Mission Viejo. So I don't know Mission Viejo well, but is what you are suggesting that Scottsdale Medical Imaging has a branch in Mission Viejo? No. And then I can just hear Greg right now. I'm totally confused. And by the way, it's so funny because we know Greg's not confused. He knows exactly what's going on. She lied. So he goes, I'm totally confused here. I will give you a chance here to explain how there is a Scottsdale Medical Imaging ultrasound that you claim came from Mission Viejo. There is not. This was the actual taken in Mission Viejo. This was not taken at SMIL. Why does it say SMIL on it? I did change the top of that from Planned Parenthood to SMIL because I didn't want him to contact the doctor. Oh, that's why she committed medical fraud, Jane Doe. Jane Doe admitting here in a deposition she committed fraud with an intention to deceive. Question. I'm showing you real clearly Bates stamp 0183. It's an ultrasound image that you are admitting to having changed information on. Is that true? Just the top left. Yes, the location. I'm going to ask the question again. Did you change data on the on the what was uh, been marked exhibit nine? Uh, her lawyer at the time, she lost her lawyer. He withdrew. And now she has a new lawyer said she answered the question, Greg. Objection. Form. And then Greg Woodnick goes back. Other than changing the sword, sword, word, sword, S-M-I-L on that exhibit, did you change anything? No. All right. I'm going to give you an opportunity now because we are three years into this and a year into this case. Is this the only document you have altered? Yes. So every exhibit in this entire history of feigned, of our position, which is feigned pregnancies, this is only document that, you're, that you are acknowledging having touched via arts and crafts is CE0183, marked for today's deposition as exhibit nine. Mr. Keith, objection, form. And Greg, I'm going to ask you, let's keep it professional in the questions. Then the witness says, yes, this is the only, this is the only one. And I would hope that the fact I'm admitting that would mean something. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it would mean something, Daddy Woodnick. I'm admitting it to you finally under oath at a deposition after all other resources were bypassed here. He says, well, it means she lied that you lied in an exhibit. You understand that. So this is where we go back to the issue of you being able to plead the fifth. You acknowledge you had a medical document that you changed and you are telling me right now that that's the only one I have to know about. Yes. And of course, we know if you lie once, you know, you just can't be trusted in the court of law. I mean, every, everything could be lied here. She's admitted to lying under oath. You acknowledge you had a medical document that you changed and you're telling me right now that that's the only one I have to know about? Yes. What software did you use to change it? Um, Adobe Acrobat. Where were you when you changed it? At my house. When did you change it? Whatever this was, because I didn't want him to contact Planned Parenthood. At what point were you going to tell my office of or your own attorney that you doctored a medical record? I mean, as I said, it's my ultrasound. It's my ultrasound. Bonnie Platter subsequently withdrew from representing you. No, Bonnie did not. I just didn't re-up the retainer because it was $5,000 gone through in a week. Hey, I went through $10,000 in a week, but you know what? Also, you would dismiss your charges against me, so... I guess we both are donating to the legal funds there in our respective states. Question, you are aware that Miss Plater used this exhibit in your proceedings, right? Um, she said, correct. It was my ultrasound. I want to show you exhibit 10. I think we have a little technology action here. Miss Rainey then said, there is actually no audio on this, but I'm going to show it to you. Video playing by Mr. Woodnick. Did you see exhibit 10? Yes. That's a video dated September 5th, 2023. Yes. Is that yours? No. I never stated that was mine. I was asked that by Dave Neal. Did they use my exhibit? Did they play my ultrasound exhibit? I'm not sure. 
She said, I was asked that by Dave Neal. The Exhibit 10, which is a SMIL sonogram, what's the identifying information on there? What's the other identifying? She said, GA, what, what, what. So you admit that the sonogram in Exhibit 10 is not yours. Exhibit. And she said, Exhibit. Okay, yes, that's not mine. Okay. If I were to look at a sonogram of this alleged pregnancy, the only place I would see... Uh, oh, and then it, and, it, and it cuts off to a different ex, uh, different page that we... No, 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 we have the next page. Uh, the only place I would see that from its original source would be Mission Viejo Planned Parenthood. Her answer, wait, are you talking about the Are you talking about the video or I'm, I'm confused? You know, for a very smart person, she gets very confused easily. He goes, that's fair. Your testimony under Exhibit 10 is that ain't you. Exhibit 10, is, is that yes, correct? How many sonograms have you had for this alleged pregnancy? One. Where was it? Planned Parenthood Mission Viejo. So I'm going to ask my question again. If I were to want the original source of the sonogram, the only sonogram that you took in a six or seven months pregnancy, I could only get it from the source at Mission Viejo Planned Parenthood? Her answer, yeah, and I did go anonymously. And then the question was, so if I issue a subpoena to them because you're going to sign a consent when we bring this to Judge Matta's attention, they're not going to know it was you that was there. And again, after this happened, we did get those subpoenas. Nothing existed, right? Now you have to remember, the, the, the reason she mentioned me was she said, when I asked her, when I was doing my reporting here as a power journalist, I said, is this your ultrasound? Because I wanted her on paper to say no. And she said, oh, she said, no, that's not mine. Greg planted it. She sent that ultrasound that I was asking if it was hers to Reality Steve and had it on her Dropbox. So she had it time stamped as hers. She made that ultrasound. She fabricated it. She's now denying that. Um, so she said, I self-paid. I mean, I don't know. So she self-paid. Um, the question, okay, so I'm going to give you an opportunity again because you have got statements under oath that we're going to get to from the prior proceedings. You do not have to answer my questions. You can always plead the fifth. Your testimony now is that the sonograms that I just presented to you are not yours, correct? She said, the one sonogram was mine and it came from Mission Viejo, but Mission Viejo is not going to have any idea it was you because you did it anonymously, but then you went back and you added your name to it. Mr. Keys, objection form. The witness, no, I didn't add my name to it. My name was on it. I changed the SMIL thing. And so, so it goes on and on. Mr. Winnick said, your name was on it? And she goes, I changed SMIL. Hang on for a second. You just told me that you were anonymous at Planned Parenthood. And she said, but I changed SMIL on there. I think I'm confused as to what you're asking. Very confused here. Must be the monster energy kind of messing with the brain. He said, no problem. We will slow it down a little. Please slow it down. Slow motion, baby. Slow motion, baby. And can you, she responded, are you talking about, can you just tell me what exhibit? Just to be clear, for the record, I'm talking about exhibit nine. Exhibit nine. That's the one that you said that you changed and attributed to another medical provider located in Scottsdale, Arizona. Correct? Correct. And that's SMIL, which is an acronym for Scottsdale Medical Imaging Labs or something like that. Correct? Correct. I've gone there before, she says. You are a patient? Correct. So when I get the subpoena for the records release from SMIL, this isn't going to be there because they didn't do this test. Correct. Because you just put their name on the test. Correct. This test, according to you, was originated in California. Correct. And you went there anonymously. Correct. And I, yeah, I added my name in the, in the facility name. Correct. All right. So initially she says she didn't add her name. Now she's saying she did add. She, so she's just flip-flopped. If your brain hurts, we need to get sponsored by, I don't know, uh, Tylenol or Midol or whatever, because I'm literally getting, um, you know, I'm getting cramps trying to read this. So we are changing your testimony. So it's not, you originally said you just changed and added the word SMIL, but now under oath, you are saying you added your name to it too. Correct. And your date of birth? Yeah, I changed the top. My date of birth, actually, they, I think they may have had my date of birth. They may have had my date of birth there. They may have had that. If you were to get the record, they may have my date of birth because they did ask my age. What? The actual flipping. When you submit records to a court, you understand that you are signing a verification with them and that there's an expectation of honesty. Yeah, and I don't believe this was ever submitted to court. All right, I'm not done with Exhibit 9 yet. Your testimony now that we have worked through is a little bit, is the entire top section of Exhibit 9 is an ultrasound from Planned Parenthood in California where you appeared anonymously. You took that ultrasound and you added your name and a date and information to it. She said, the date is correct. Okay, where is the original of this? And uh, she says, um, I mean, I just have that. I mean, I'm sure I would have it on my computer. Okay, what would you have on your computer? Like the image, my photos? But by the way, let's just grab that hard drive right now. Why don't we do that? It's gonna be like soaking in bleach or something. How did Planned Parenthood California Mission Viejo give you this image? She said, I asked them to send it to me. 
And she said, via? And she said, maybe I actually just took a screen grab of it. No, it doesn't look like that. I don't recall. The question, do they do, I'm not familiar with Mission Viejo Planned Parenthood. Do they do like a medical records portal? No, they do not. Did you walk out of Planned Parenthood with this? With what? Whatever this image is that you doctored, did you walk out with it? <laughs> I just imagine yelling at her. Oh, I can't wait to watch this video. This is going to be, uh, by the way, uh, wild. Well, I didn't. Are you referring to doctoring in terms of the top? Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I didn't. I didn't alter the ultrasound image, and this is even reviewed by another doctor independently. Can we debate that? But the, we can debate that. But this particular image, how did you get it? She said, I, I, I thought I had taken a picture with my phone, but it doesn't look like it was taken with my phone, so I don't recall. So you may have, your position would be you were in Planned Parenthood. You took a screenshot with your cell phone in that, and then you came back to Phoenix and you used Photoshop to change the caption. I used Adobe Acrobat to change the caption, yes. So she doesn't want to say Photoshop because that's the layman's term for fraud. Oh, you Photoshopped this. She used Adobe Acrobat, guys. That's Photoshop. Uh, how would you get me the original? She can't even, she's every little inch she could trying to twist. How would you get me the original of what this was before you messed with it? She said, I can contact Planned Parenthood to see if from the day I was there, if there are records from there. So you would be willing to, for my office, sign not just a HIPAA release, but a special, let's move forward, last two, a special waiver that California may require because of their confidentiality laws with their Planned Parenthood and privacy so that I could have that original information. She goes, um, I mean, I don't know what rights I would be waiving in California. Well, you want Judge Matter to have the original records in front of her, correct? Judge Matter will see I was pregnant. I have other medical rec uh, pregnancy records as well. Uh, this is not a debate. This is particular Exhibit 9. You have provided and you have acknowledged to Clayton. Yes, to Clayton. I have got it too. It's right in front of me. You acknowledge you made changes to the document correct correct and you acknowledge that it's important that we know what the original was of this document to know what you changed correct because right now i got to take your word that it's the original right because there's no verification correct so you're going to work with my office to contact mission viejo and get the original source material from their database whatever it is so we can see what this image looked like before you whatever you did to it can we agree to that she said like i said i went anonymous but i'm happy to help you guys however i can oh thank you so much thank you so much for that um, the question, why did you go anonymous? Because I didn't want people to know I'm pregnant at the time. But Planned Parenthood is privileged. You have been there before. I had been there before, but I didn't want anyone to find out because I wasn't in a relationship or anything. Uh, that's right. You blew a guy you just met who was your real estate agent. I'm not shaming you. Everyone could blow their real estate agent consensually. Whatever you got to do to get a good deal. Uh, but of course, don't pretend like you got knocked up. You understand why people may think you may be lying about this Exhibit 9, right? She said, I do, yes. He said, okay, let's move on. I'm going to move on and show you Exhibit 10. Was 10 the video? Yeah, you saw the video. And that's where it ends. That's what we have for information right there. Holy hell. How wild was that ride? We were mentioned in her depot. And again, all of this because I asked her, on my page, I'll show it to you. You know, I'll pull it up. You guys can see it. I asked her if this was her, and I'll show it to you. You guys know what I'm talking about. We exposed this ultrasound uh, months ago. I mean, this ultrasound was mega huge when we exposed this. And guys, I mean, it's right here. Proof it is fake. This ultrasound, she claims now that she changed the date. She added SMIL to it. And, and, uh, and, uh, but she says everything else is, is hers. Now we know this isn't hers. This ultrasound is from a six year old ultrasound. Unless guys, unless there's another ultrasound image she's speaking of, that's a photo version of this. I'm not sure. I don't know what that other ultrasound image is. I just know she claims this one isn't hers. The other one she claims is hers. Both have fraudulent information on it. She claims it's Adobe Acrobat. Let's just both agree and call a spade a spade. She photoshopped medical evidence. She says, I can do that. I'm Jane Doe. I can photoshop my own ultrasound. I'll do whatever I want to it. I'll add, I'll photoshop the face to make it look better. I'll do whatever, the, I'll make it, I'll put it in color. I'll give it a, this or that. Absolutely wild. And we're supposed to believe her and all we're getting is lies after 
And she lied? Lies. Let me know what you guys think. I've got a show tomorrow night in Phoenix, if you haven't heard, March 28th. Last chance to buy tickets. Uh, link on my Instagram right there to buy tickets. Uh, we're at the Desert Ridge Improv. I know Jane Doe won't be there because Clayton Eckerd will be, and he has a restraining order or an injunction against harassment on her. So she'll be violating. If, if, if she's a fan of mine and wanted to come to the show, she would be violating that because Clayton will be there doing a live Q&A. If you want to come to that and hang out with us, we'll be there. We'll see you then. Bye, everybody.